The resurrection of Jesus Christ, according to the prophetic scriptures, is both a historical fact and a miraculous truth which many celebrate on a day mankind has come to call Easter the resurrection day. The resurrection of Christ is central to the gospel of grace, defined by the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 as moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Let's break this down. The resurrection-centered gospel of Jesus Christ is the only one by which also ye are saved. In fact, apart from the bodily resurrection from the dead of Jesus Christ, there is no gospel and no salvation for sinners. So, when we celebrate Easter Sunday, we are rejoicing in what God did when he raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And God only raised Christ from the dead once he was satisfied with his payment for all the sins of the entire world, past, present and future, Colossians 2 verse 13. The payment for sins was accomplished in the sacrificial death and subsequent burial of Christ. Once this was finished, three days and nights later, the Father raised him, the Son, from the dead. Then some forty days later Christ ascended into heaven where he sat down. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Psalms 110 verse 1 so today, when the body of Christ celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ, according to the scriptures, we rejoice that he did this that we might be saved. And unknown to many, this is according to the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. Romans 16 verse 25 We also celebrate knowing that he is coming back for the church which is his body. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 to 17 Believer, comfort one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 18 Thank you.